So you're thinking about moving right here to Houston, Texas, but you're not quite sure which suburb is gonna be perfect for you and your family. There are so many, and if you're not super familiar with Houston, the last thing you wanna do is get focused on one suburb, make that move, only to find out that another suburb would have been a better, more perfect fit for you and your family. So in today's video, we're gonna do just that. I'm actually gonna walk you through our process and all of the questions that we ask our clients to help you narrow down your search as quickly and efficiently as possible, but leaving no stone unturned. That way you can take a deep breath knowing that you are living in the perfect place for you and your family. So if that interests you, let's get after it right now. Okay, so before we dive in, if this is your first time checking out our channel and you're looking to move to the Houston area and you wanna know everything there is to know about Houston and the suburbs, subscribe to that channel and tap that bell for notifications and we'll keep you up to date on everything going on right here in Houston. Now, my name's Kyler Ferris. I'm the broker owner here of Ferris Realty and we really do get calls, texts, emails every single day at all hours of the day and night uh, from people just like you that are looking to move to Houston. So if that's you, don't be shy. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Houston. So I'm gonna dive in and I'm gonna walk you through what we would do to help any client that is looking to relocate to the Houston area because I am a firm believer because I've seen this happen time and time again that if we do our job asking the right questions, that you're going to find the perfect place for you and your family. And so the first question that I'm typically going to ask, and I recommend that you ask when you're looking to move here to the Houston area is, do you already know if you want new construction or resale? Because this question alone can rule out 40 to 70% of all of your options, depending on what suburbs you're looking in. And so if you already know that, that's going to help us put a magnifying glass on the correct areas right out of the gate so that we can start honing in on the best suburbs for you. So for example, if you said, hey, I, I have to have new construction. Well, the Woodlands is a fantastic suburb, but there really aren't many new construction options there. And so then we would ask follow-up questions and dive deeper into that. But that one question alone is going to clarify a whole lot of things. Now, another question that is really important that helped clears things up really quickly is, are you focused on the schools? And what is your definition of a good school? Because some clients will reach out to us and say, I won't put my kid in it unless it's a nine. Well, that wipes out a whole lot of the suburbs. And so you can narrow it down really quickly on that as well. Uh, another great question to ask when looking to move to the Houston area is, what kind of geography do you want? Because only the north side of Houston has the really tall established pine trees. You're gonna see them in Kingwood, in Conroe, in the woodlands obviously and then you're going to see them out towards willis and montgomery as well now as you head further west you're actually going to get some more established uh, oak trees up in montgomery and tomball and then as you head on down further west and like south towards cypress and katy all of a sudden it turns into just flat farmland and so if you have to have those lush you know greenery and that forest uh you know behind your house well, then you're probably gonna to wanna to live on the north side of Houston. And so that wipes out almost half of the suburbs. Another great question to ask that I recommend asking is, you know, what kind of commute do you have? Now, we get a lot of clients that move here because they're able to work from home, which is a new trend. But for those that don't, for those that have to commute, uh, it's definitely worth taking your commute into consideration because if you're commuting five days a week, that's a whole lot of time in the car if you pick the wrong suburb. Another thing to focus on, and we always use this with our clients, is if you do have a commute, we're gonna recommend that you use the Google Maps tool that allows you to search what the average drive time is during the rush hour or whenever you would be making your commute, because that's gonna help us narrow it down as well. Another question when we're talking about commutes is also commutes to the airport. So there's two major airports here in the Houston area. And so if you're gonna be flying in and out of them frequently, it's best to know which one you're most likely to fly in and out of and how far you're okay with being away from that airport. 
So another great question that we ask, we focus heavily with our team on these new construction master plan communities. It seems to be something that everybody loves. I personally live in one and I see great benefit in the community aspect and having everything all right there in your neighborhood. And so if that's something that you're interested in, there are there's a good amount of master plan communities around the Houston area, but there's really like 30 main master plan communities. And so there might only be two or three in different areas. And so just by asking two questions, you know, somebody says, Hey, I really want to be in the pine trees and I really want a master plan community. Well, all of a sudden now we're just looking at four or five communities. And so it really only takes one day, maybe two days to look at those four or five communities and really narrow it down. And then, to go further down that rabbit hole, if you are set on new construction, another thing that happens a lot of times too is clients will walk into one builder in one of these model home parks and they'll say, yeah, this is my builder. I have to have this builder. There's just something about the house or the way it's designed or the floor plan that they have to have. And if that's the case, those builders only build in a handful of neighborhoods throughout the Houston area. And so you're going to narrow down your options very, very, very quickly. And so a lot of clients call us and they're a little bit hesitant as to how quickly they can understand the Houston area and how quickly they can decide where exactly it is that they want to live. But by asking some of these questions, it goes from four million options to four options very, very quickly. And so taking it further on the new construction thing. So let's say you find a builder, they, you're also going to have a time frame. So you might only have a two or three month time window when you need to close on that home. And so that builder might only have zero, one, five options, usually not more than 10 for that time frame. And so, you know, quite literally in two days time on a quick trip here, you're able to really narrow it down and focus. Now on the resale search, on the resale side of things, if clients are wanting a resale home or open to a resale home and they care a lot more about the actual suburb, um, maybe some of the more established suburbs like the Woodlands or Sugarland, where they're, they're pretty much completely built out and there's no new construction, then what we're gonna do for you there is we're immediately gonna set you up on a home search and send you homes and see how many out of the ones we send you actually like to see how realistic you know your budget is and your criteria that we set up is for that actual search because if i send you 100 homes and you like 10 or 15 of them right now well then there's a good sign that when you're ready to move that there's going to be plenty of options for you but if i send you only 20 options and you like none of them then that narrows down that area quite quickly uh, other things to look at uh, whenever it comes to the suburbs is proximity to the coast. A lot of people take that into consideration. Some people prefer being on the south side of Houston because of the quick access down to Galveston. A lot of the suburbs like League City or Friendswood or Pearland are only about 45, 50 minutes from Galveston. And so if you like that beach life, it's really a great place to live if you live on the south side of Houston. But on the flip side of that, uh, people that are more worried and concerned about hurricanes, um, you know, typically like to stay further up on the north side of the Houston area. And so, as you can see, there's just five or six questions that we've asked so far, and you can narrow it down really, really quickly. Another question that I love to ask clients is, um, how, how urban versus rural do you want your experience to be? Because uh, as you go further and further outside of the city, um, you're going to end up in, in smaller towns that historically had a more country undertone to them. Now, that's not to say that they haven't gotten you know, new tollways that shoot you straight down into Houston quicker or that they don't have you know, nice amenities or shopping centers or grocery stores. Uh, some of them do, but it's still gonna be a more country rural lifestyle. And so typically by showing you just two or three of our videos on different examples of what we mean by you know, more urban versus suburban versus rural, Usually you can drive through two or three suburbs and narrow it down and say, no, that's too country for me, or no, that's too urban for me. And then all of a sudden it narrows down the list of suburbs to just a handful. So, you know, if you said, hey, I want trees and I want uh, to be out on an acre, well, I'm immediately gonna say Montgomery, Tomball, Magnolia, and you know, Willis. So it just narrows it down really, really quickly. And so anyways, I hope this gets your, your brain um, going and gears turning and really helps you when it comes to asking the right questions. I highly recommend, uh, even if you're thinking you're like a year out,
go ahead and reach out to us. We're gonna have these conversations with you immediately. A member of our team will reach, reach out to you directly and we'll get that ball rolling. We'll get that conversation started. We'll uh, possibly even shoot new videos on areas that you're interested in that maybe we haven't covered yet. Um, but we're really going to ask all the right questions to make sure that you're able to arrive at whether or not you know Houston is the right fit for you and your family. And we're going to always recommend to, if you do have a chance to come in for a preliminary trip, we help clients all the time on those trips. And during those trips, what we're going to do is, depending on your time frame, we're going to either set you up with a game plan, meet you at the beginning of your trip, and then kind of let you loose to go explore. Because the one thing that we can't do for you through video is uh, give you the feeling that you get when you drive through a certain area. Whenever I drive through my neighborhood, I feel at home, I feel at peace, and I love it, right? And that's not something I can give to you through the computer here. And so anyways, so that's irreplaceable. So we'll set you free to go do that. And then if you're, if you're a lot uh, shorter time frame and you're actually looking to purchase, then we're, we're not just going to have that, you know, meeting with you and send you on your way. We're going to immediately start looking at, you know, areas and homes as well. And so if that is you uh, and you are looking to move to Houston, like we always say, don't be shy. Give us that call, shoot us that text or send us that quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas. Now, thanks for watching and go check out some of our other videos.